Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering another statics problem, specifically under part D frames. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. So we are giving this frame and we want to find the reaction at B. Now if we take a look at this frame closely, note guys that at A we have a pin, which means we're going to have two reaction forces, AY and AX, and at B we're just going to have one reaction force, which is BY, and that's what we're actually trying to determine. Now to solve for BY, what we need to do is set up the moment equation. So we're going to take the moment and A, equal it to zero, and then from there we can easily determine BY. So why don't you guys give this problem a try? Now make sure that you guys, when you are doing these problems, it's very important that you guys attempt them on your own because you just have a deeper understanding of the problems and then also if you do a mistake, you can catch it and then you can remember it for your FE. So make sure that you guys practice and do these problems on your own before you check out the solution. So go ahead and pause this video, give it a try and I will see you in a little bit. Now, if you find this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also make sure to download this cheat sheet here that has a lot of important equations and concepts that you should know for your FE exam. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do here is set up our moment equation. So we're gonna do the summation of the moment at A equals to zero, and our positive sign convention is going to be counterclockwise. Now also, we are assuming that BY is going up, and what that means is that if we get a positive answer for BY, that means our assumption is correct, and if we get a negative answer, that means our assumption is wrong and that BY should be going down. Now if we take the moment at A, we're gonna have BY, and then we're going to multiply it by 28 feet. So 28 feet, that's the moment arm. Because if you guys remember, the moment is equal to force times the moment arm. And the moment arm is the perpendicular distance, okay? So which means if we're taking the moment at A, right? So the moment arm is going to be from A, where we're taking the moment, to where the force is, the line of action of the force. And it's going to be the, the perpendicular distance. So as you guys can see here, 28 feet is perpendicular to the force, okay? So that's why here the moment arm is 28. Now also note guys that BY is positive because our sign convention is counterclockwise, right? So we're going counterclockwise, BY, we're assuming it's going up. So they're going in the same direction. And then we're gonna have minus the distributed load. Now, the reason why it's minus, because remember guys, we're taking the moment at A counterclockwise, the distributed load is going down, so they're going opposites of each other, okay? So we're gonna have minus four kips per foot. Now, remember, this is the distributed load, but we need to get the force, right? Because moment is force times the moment arm. So first we need to find the force and then multiply it by the moment arm. Now, the force is usually the distributed load, times the span of the distributed load, which in this case is 28 feet, okay? So we're gonna take four multiplied by 28 feet. Now remember, this here gives us the force, okay? And the moment arm, it's going to be 28 feet, and then divide it by two. And the reason that is, is because what we do is we assume that this force of the distributed load is applied at the centroid of the distributed load, okay? Which means it's going to just be half of 28. And then we're gonna have minus eight kips. Now, the reason why it's gonna be minus because we're taking the moment at A and it's counterclockwise, and then the force is going opposite of that direction. So that's why it's minus, and then we're gonna multiply it by the moment arm, which is 12 feet. Now, remember again, guys, the moment arm is the perpendicular distance. So we're taking the moment at A, and then this, this is the distance that is perpendicular to the force, okay? And then we're going to set up this equation to zero. So if you guys rearrange this equation, meaning you take this term here, this whole term to the other side, and then you do plus this term here. So both of these terms are going to become positive because we're going to take them to the other side. And then you're going to divide by eight. And if you guys plug that in your, in your calculator, you're going to get 59.4 kips, okay? This number came out to be positive, which means our assumption is correct and that BY is going up. So if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be D. 
By the way guys, if you want to pass your FE exam this year in 2023, go ahead and comment below 2023 and also make sure to check out our latest webinar where I share the exact steps to pass your FE exam this year. So you still got time, you can still do it, just make sure that you are on the right track and you have the right tools and the right study tips to make it happen. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here where students share how they pass the FE exam this year. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,